Hi, this is Kevin, the bug guy, with number one to Don Pest Control. What happened this morning was our dog, Bacardi, got sprayed by a skunk. Second time this week. This time, though, I found out where he lives, under our deck. So, if you can see our dog right here, poor guy, got hit, and he wants to come in, but there's no way we're going to let him in. What we have to do is get the, sk the skunk smell away from him. And doing that will be the beautiful Mrs. Bug Guy. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kathy and I am Mrs. Bug Guy and I'm going to give you a really quick easy way to de-skunk your animals, your dogs. You can try it on a cat, good luck with that, but it's a real simple easy recipe. We're going to do a double batch um, because he got hit pretty strong. We're going to take a half a cup of baking soda, regular baking soda like you have in your home. Pop that in a container. Now you want two teaspoons of liquid detergent because remember we're doing a double batch of this. So one and two. Okay, key ingredient for this is going to be the hydrogen peroxide because the oxygenating bubbles is going to pull that scent right out of their coat. So again, we're doing a double. We're going to take 32 ounces. Use 32 ounces per one liter of water. I'm going to add that all together. Poor puppy's banging at the back door and wants to come in. We made the mistake of letting him in the house last time. As I said, it was a mistake. So this time we smartened up. All right, so this is our second. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take warm water from your tap. And we're going to add that right to the mixture. It is a little bit of a chilly morning, so we kind of want to make it a little warmer so he's not miserable out there. Now what you do once this mixture is all put together, you're going to definitely want to put on some latex gloves because you will smell. You want to put on your dirtiest, grubbiest clothes because they will smell. Um, you're going to take the mixture and you're going to rub it deep down into your animal's coat, trying to get down to the skin. Do be careful though, some animals do have a reaction. It can be a little harsh on their skin, but you want to get it down as deep as possible. Once it's in good with their fur and down to the bottom, you want to leave it on there anywhere between 5 and 15 minutes. You're going to rinse them off with the warm water after that time. If you need to repeat it, repeat as often as necessary. And good luck with that. We'll see how it goes. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and take care of this and then we'll uh, get back to you and let you know. Thank you all.